Candlestick Park, a stadium that has housed numerous championship teams, plays host for this NFC West matchup between the Seahawks and the 49ers. The running back position today, manned by a couple of stars of the sport. What are you looking for here? Yeah, it's kind of refreshing, isn't it, to do a game where it's all about the running backs. We have to talk about the, how good the quarterback is and aren't they special. Well, these two running backs are special, and we see it each week how they play, but also we see it how the offenses are designed. It is around the running backs. There is nothing like a good return when you talk about special teams. Good blocking, the speed of the returner gets down the field, and after that tackle, now they have good starting field position. Baldwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. Working that left side, brings it in. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. Tate's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Makes the reception. And he's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts them in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. So they complete one and still it's second down. Escaping the pressure. Alden Smith with the quarterback takedown. I got to blame the offensive line that time. Giving up a sack early in the game like that. You cannot take chances. Don't overplay as an offensive lineman. If you do it, you give up a sack. Third and six. He'll fire it out to the left. It's Navarro Bowman who brings him down. It didn't take long, but they're already in scoring territory inside the red zone. Yeah, they're making it look easy, aren't they, so far? But you've got to be alert on the defensive side right now because this offense loves to go for the touchdown once they get into the red zone. You've got to know if you're going to run the football, you're going to have a lot of short games. There's going to be a lot of plays that look ugly. That's just the way it is. You've got to live with it and know what's coming in the future. Looking at every option, under fire on that throw. Play number six coming up on this drive. Ball's thrown incomplete. Great coverage there by the defense. Nice job that time by the wide receiver on the post route. He's open, but the quarterback throws it too far and misses it. The running back goes in motion. Well, we got the mojo flow of the day, don't we? You start out the game, it's early. You pick up a couple first downs, and you think you can't be stopped. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Caught up the football. This one's going back the other way. Great job by the defense, forcing and recovering the fumble. You said the appropriate word there, forcing. The hit was so solid and so good. The offensive player had no, he had no choice. He had to give up the football. Colin Kaepernick under center. Gores on the toss. Gets the football. Impressive piece of running by Gore. Boy, after watching that long run, I'm winded. That was a nice job by the running back. Good job up front, sustaining the blocks. Offense has got to be happy with that. And it's dropped back. Gets away from the pressure. Brought down at the 41-yard line.
Rangers lined up in a single back formation, trying to make something happen. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. They come to the line, and it's first down. Into the open flat. Brings it into his body. Breaks free. That'll stop the play right there. Jim, this time it's a halfback screen. Nice job by the quarterback. The halfback, good job after catching it. Picked up some good yards. Flex round! Flex round! Let's see how they back up the big play here. The give. Bringing the play to an end. I think you got to be a little more creative in the red zone than this. When you just line up and run the football like that, you're not going to get a lot of yards. And that time, they just got a short game. Second and goal from the eight. He'll throw it over the middle. That pass was hurried. goal from the eight running right through the trenches it's up six well when you get down here this close you got to be tough big and strong to get in the end zone that time he falls a couple inches short should be an easy one here You always want to be rewarded for a nice drive in a football game, even when it's a field goal, because you've made a lot of good plays, you've executed them, you've got yourself in position to get some points, and that field goal just reinforces everything. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. Percy Harvin gets the chance to return this kickoff. And he's met head-on right there at the 20. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Pass is made and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. Russell Wilson has it under center. On second and ten. Throws the pass. Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. Heaving it down the field. Touchdown, Seahawks. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. We have a review coming from the booth. They went to the booth to review the touchdown, and it was not verified. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Seahawks team official. Percy Harvin's injury doesn't appear to be anything too serious. Yes, he'll be sore tomorrow, guys, but that's not going to stop him from returning today. Lynch is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Looking to scramble. Gains maybe five. Russell Wilson's 5'11", has a powerful throwing arm. Very elusive, hard to get a big hit on Russell Wilson. That's a good run. Third and six. Throws a strike. Oh, there's nothing like a play-action pass when the offensive linemen make it look like it's a run. The linebackers are all near the line of scrimmage and easy to throw it down the field for that completion. It's the old counter play. When you're going against a really athletic defense, there's nothing like reverses 
and the counter run game because they see it, they go, and you counter it, and that's why it works to perfection. Good job by the defense that time. Everybody's expecting a pass. They were ready for the run, and they stopped the offense for a short gain in the red zone. No separation at all. Incomplete. As much as these guys practice during the offseason, training camp, during the week, you think receivers and quarterbacks would always be on the same page. That time they were not, and it's another incomplete pass. The Frenchman, the defense. First down. First down following the penalty. Play action. Looking for an open receiver on the right. The interception. Wonderful job by the defense that time. They stayed after it. And inside their own 20, they finally come up with the play. They get the interception and they keep the other team from getting points on the board. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. That's why you like defenders who are good punishing tacklers. Make those receivers worry about coming over the middle. They'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit. Looks like a penalty on the defense. Encroachment the defense. Still second down. Frank Gore is in the backfield on second down and five, running away from the pressure, under pressure and incomplete. Well, it's a good thing that linebacker knocked that pass down because I don't think he could have caught it. So if he can't catch it, knock it down so nobody else can catch it. The quarter is about to end. One more play first. Third and five. Good solid tackle. Short of the first. And now we've got a fourth down situation. We're back here in this low scoring affair. Gores lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Getting away from the pressure, looking to the right side and throwing. What are you thinking of? Going forward on fourth down deep in your own territory. You can't do that. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Left side. Going to be a tackle for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Slashing to the right side. That was a nice play call by the offensive coordinator. Running the football in the red zone, and he picked up some good yards. On the way, third down. Fumble. A recovery by the defense. The defense comes up with the big play. The hit and the recovery of the football. Uh, they sure did. They got so much speed on the defensive side, and that speed, when you think about it, it gets more people around the football. It helps you deliver the hit even harder, and that's why they got the turnover. Great job. Colin Kaepernick, under center. Gore. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, after watching that play, I think it's safe to say you can tell uh, it's an injury to the lower body. Really big hit. Uh, feel bad for the guy. I hope he's okay. Looking across the middle. Got to make that play. You don't see it often in today's game. These gloves these wide receivers wear, my gosh, anybody can catch it. I don't know how he dropped it.
the 49ers bring in an extra tight end for this play. That reception picks up the first down. 25 on that play. When you have a quarterback to control the football like this guy, even though it's third and 10 plus yards, he makes a nice throw for the first down. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Set up screen. He had no time to get set. Offense lines up here. Second and ten. Fires it in there incomplete. Well, Jim, I can't say that's great defense. That's just a poor throw and a poor route run by the wide receiver. Kendall Hunter is in the backfield. Third and ten. The throw to the left. Unable to bring it in. These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason. They took their eyes off the football before it got there. Vernon David going to take it the distance. The 10 inside and he's over for the touchdown. Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. The 49ers with an extra point try on the way. And the point after is good. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Niners with two extra defensive backs in the dime. First and ten, eyeing that left side. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing lead, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first down. Almost intercepted. There are a lot of ways to attack cover, too. You can go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are, or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, then throw it short underneath the defense. Second down after the incompletion. Setting up a little screen. Tackle down at the 46-yard line. There wasn't much there that time, so a good job by the quarterback just throwing the ball and, and, and getting the catch and just getting a couple yards. The Seahawks come out in a jumbo set. Third down and eight. Throwing now to his left. And a completion this time, and they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. When the defense is going to play safe, and they don't want you to run by them, you've got to be able to throw these out routes where the receiver's cutting towards your sideline and the quarterback stick it in there. Alden Smith with the quarterback takedown. Well, if your offensive line's not good enough just to stop the pass rush, then you got to help them out. How do you do that? Well, you keep the tight end in, let him be an extra blocker, and you tell your running backs to help out too, blocking some of these defensive linemen. Slips right through his fingertips. Look the football in. With the gloves these receivers wear, the rules that you can't touch them, there's no excuse for dropping the football. 
The pass play fails to work, and now it's third down. Ahmad Brooks brings the quarterback down. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. The Seahawks will go with the pistol on this play. Slips past one player. Launches it down the field. Well, we'll be switching sides with this one. Ball's going the other way. Man, you got to be smarter than that. You can't go for it every single time on fourth and long. There is a thing they have in the NFL. It's called a punt. Do it more often. Two-minute warning looms, and this may be the last play before it hits. First and ten. Could have been intercepted. Incompletion by the quarterback that time. It was good, tight, man-to-man -man coverage. They'll try over again on second down. He'll fire it out to the left. He had it, but the hit jars the ball loose. Two-minute warning. That's interesting. As you watch the receiver trying to make that catch, he knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. So now a third and ten. Kaepernick gets it to, to the take it home for the touchdown. When you got a lead, you march down the field and you add on that lead with a touchdown, it's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. The 49ers for the extra point. Driving extra point is good. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. made right around the 26-yard line. They face first down. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. in the backfield single back set here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch and that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker Russell Wilson has it under center third and three Lynch he's going to the left and Navarro Bowman brings him down good job by the running back on that long run it's one thing to have talent but the first thing you need as a running back is vision. You have to pick the right running lane. That's what he did that time, able to get down the field and get that long game. What a good job by the defensive player there, just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. Second down and three following that nice run. He gets it again on this drive. Good job by the defensive line, standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. Marshawn Lynch takes the football, and that's a gain of nine. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread-and-butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out? Justin Smith brings the quarterback down. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. They tackle him for a loss. Well, his defense all over that play. They tackle the runner for a loss. Now we're going to have third and long. 
advantage goes to defense. Third and 16. He wants to go deep. Interception. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. On first down, strong eye handoff here. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. So that's going to do it for the first half. 49ers are up in this one. They're lining up here for the onside kick. We're back here now in this one where the 49ers are leading by 17. The onside kick is turned away and the receiving team has it. down coming up and now here's the first snap of the second half they knock him down and he's still two yards short of the first always good to have these types of runs yeah it's not a first down but it sends a message it shows everybody that you can run it when you want to and also it opens up so many other things for your offense the defense has got to be a little aggressive here your team is down you've got to attack this offense you don't want them to get in there and get another score Colin Kaepernick under center. First and ten. Go run it off the toss. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Tosses it to the running back. That's a gain of six. Closer defense gets to the end zone. Their backs are against it. The tougher they get. But that time, the offense still able to pick up a few yards on an inside run. Third and eight play fake here and it's thrown incomplete jim the offensive coordinator has done a terrific job so far here today he's got his team winning they're in the red zone let's see how clever he's going to be on this call flag is out and it's blocked it's blocked The defense accepts the penalty. Quarters formation here for the defense. Well, when you get close to the goal line, you always have to look out for the tight end because any time there's a, just a little bit of deception, that deception is enough for the tight end to get that area where he can get open. That time he does it, touchdown. And the extra point is good. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. at the 18-yard line. <laughs> Takes a receiver in the slot. First and 10. Alden Smith with the quarterback takedown. You know, outside linebackers, they're everything all in one. They got to be a pass rusher. Uh, a pass cover guy, and they got to be able to stop the run. Nice job that time getting the sack. Ball's picked off. They count on it there. When you get an opportunity like this, you want to take advantage of it. The defense did. The opportunity was there. They get a chance to intercept the football. They do. Now can their offense take advantage of this situation? Bolden's in the slot. First down and 10. Kaepernick sells the play fake and looks downfield. And 
That gains one. Number six. Gets the score on the road. Second down coming up. On the run. And that's a gain of 10. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Kendall Hunter is in the backfield. First and 10 to the ground here. He'll be taken down about three yards Number short two. of the first. Good job that time by the old line. How about that? Nice blocks, and they got a nice little run there inside the red zone. The quarterback will hand it off and gains about one. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. We're going to take off with it. And he's in for the touchdown. There's the signal from the far side. It is a touchdown. He broke the plane. He broke the plane from just a yard away. The point after try is in the books. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Lynch is lined up as the single back. Going across the middle, they bring him to the turf. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Russell Wilson hits Zach Miller with that throw. Well, I guess the only good thing you can say about that play, the quarterback's happy. He gets a completion, but it only goes for a couple yards. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. Does it take talent to do something like this? You've got a time to pass where the football's going, where the receiver's going to catch it and do the perfect timing. Hit that receiver, and that football comes flying out. Nice job that time. Incomplete pass. The Seahawks lined up in the pistol. Bites off the hit. In trouble now. Alden Smith with the quarterback takedown. Oh, my gosh. When you take those blindside hits, the first thing you think of as a quarterback when you get up, did somebody make a mistake, or did I make the mistake not seeing that guy coming? The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Looks to his left. That's a failed conversion, but you might as well look at it like a turnover. It's going back the other way. It's fourth and long. What do you expect? To always pick these situations up? That's bad game management, bad play call, bad decisions by the coach. down here setting up screen catches made swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage got to give the defense some credit on first down there's so many things the offense can do they were ready for that play and they stopped it Kendall Hunter is in the backfield scrambling out of the pocket has some space to work with The Seahawks come out in a dime package. Third and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. When you play man-to-man -man against this receiver, you're going to have a tough time. Quarterback's a good thrower. Really hard for a defensive back to stay with him. 
First and ten as they go ground here. Left side. That's a gain of eight. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. The 49ers come out in a two tight end set. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. And they score again here to pad the lead. Well, when the offense goes in there and scores again to increase their lead, it's got to give a lot of confidence to the defense. Now can they go out there and do their job? Add the extra point. The kick is good. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Right at about the 28-yard line. Lined up in the pistol formation. Running back gets it on the handoff. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. So many things. you can do on first down and what do you come up you come up with that play that was just a bad play call this should be the last play of the quarter here's the handoff and they'll run it a tackle behind the line the Seahawks are still in possession as we get this final quarter underway Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield, trying to work that left side. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. By the looks of that, you can tell it looks like a major injury, and uh, it's, just, it's a tough sport, a lot of big hits, and uh, I hope he's going to be okay. And that's a big-time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Russell Wilson has it under center. Second and four. Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. Well, they call this route a lot of things. They call it a goal route, a nine route, or a fly route. And all of them mean the same thing. Run as fast as you can, get behind the defense. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven. But don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. you got to find a way to score a touchdown. Second down coming up. Russell Wilson will take it from the gun. Touchdown, Seattle. Nice job running that fade down the field. Nice throw by the quarterback. And we get a touchdown. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. Working that left side. So, put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. Taken down at about the 33, maybe the 34-yard line. Colin Kaepernick under center. Here we go. Now first and ten. Kaepernick's got the football after the play fake. Airtight coverage. Incomplete. I think this is one of the easier throws in the NFL. Don't make the mistake throwing it up the field. Throw it across the field so the receiver can run to it. That time the quarterback leads the receiver way too far on the post route. 
Bolden lined up in the slot, trying to get it outside before the defense is set. What a job by the offensive line that time. This running back hit the hole at full speed, and the defense had very little time to react. And that's how he got in the secondary, made a couple guys miss, and gets down there and gets a long run. First and 10. And he's going to be brought down. It is truly a bonus when you can take your outside linebacker and let him rush the quarterback and he can get a sack. Nice job that time by the outside linebacker. The offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their balls out? He's brought to a halt. What a lucky break this time. They fumble, but they recover it and maintain possession. NFL teams, the offense, every single day they work with anybody that's going to handle the football. How to hold it? He didn't do a good job that time. That's why he fumbled. Third and a long way to go. A tackle that had to be made, and that'll set up fourth down. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long. Not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Andy Lee will be punting this one. Right past one player. Well, only a couple yards that time by the punt returner. Good defense by the punt coverage team. They get down their speed. They hustle. They're all around him. And they only give up a couple yards. First down. Offense ready for the snap. And he was wide open. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. First down here after the completion. Handoff, heading right. He's got a wide open alley, and he's brought to the ground. Well, that's just a good old physical run by the offense there, and it's good for a few yards and gets him another first down. First and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Good job by the offense. Another first down. The defense absolutely is getting tired. And when you get tired, you make mistakes. They've got a first down now after that catch. He's scrambling now. He's into the open. And he'll step out of bounds. Russell Wilson is an outstanding runner of the football when he decides to tuck it under. Yeah, what I like about him so much, he just makes it look easy. He's never in a hurry, always under control. And that's one of the reasons why he never takes any big hits. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. Russell Wilson has it under center. First and ten. Throws to the right. And incomplete. This will probably be the last play before the two-minute warning here in the final quarter. In on the stop. It's getting harder and harder in the NFL to score when you're this close to the goal line. So what will the offense do? They, they better be creative. That's all I know. First down here after the run. They feed it to him again. He's in for the touchdown. Ah, oh, you just love it as a quarterback. You get down in there and it's first and goal. If you score, now you don't have to sweat the fact that, man, what are we going to do if it gets to third down? You don't have to worry about it. Good run, nice touchdown. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that. You talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time.
Colin Kaepernick under center. First and ten. Half back counter. He's in the clear. Tackle down at the 42-yard line. Well, the defensive coach is going to be upset after this play. After that long run, terrible angles, and really just a lack of hustle by the defense gives up the long run. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Escaping the pressure. He's got some daylight. That time he's under pressure. Uh, he can't stand in the pocket. He takes off. And as you look down the field, nobody is open. So the quarterback is forced to run, and he picks up some big yards. Kendall Hunter is in the backfield. And he makes the catch just past the first down marker. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Another handoff. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Chip shot here. Looking for an open Intercepted. You've got to stay aggressive on the defensive side. That time the defense did. Even though the offense was going in to score, they finally they come up with a big play and they get the interception inside their own 20-yard line. First and 10 will go ground. Nice tackle. You know, the defense is sitting back there trying to protect. Well, you can't just be that passive. You've got to have somebody to up there ready to stop the run. they got to do a better job on the defensive side. Tackle at the 29-yard line. Well, Jim, that's a tough play call right there, running the football when you're down multiple scores here late in the game. You only pick up a couple yards. I don't think you can afford uh, to make those kind of decisions. Second and eight, looking to the right side and throwing. Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. That reception gave them the first down. Going for the deep ball. Dante Whitner picks off that pass. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. Wide receivers are bunched up. First and 10. He's looking to go down the field here. Oh, and almost picked off that time. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Second down and 10. They break through. Tackle him behind the line. Well, these plays do look ugly when they don't work. It's, it's second down, and you run the running play, hoping to pick up a few yards to make third down easier. But when you lose yards like this, third long, tough to do. One more play, and it's in the books. Kaepernick's turning to look downfield now after selling the play fake. That's going to do it. The clock hits zero, and this game has come to an end. How much sweeter is practice going to be this week after the win on that sideline? Once you win, practice is easier because your confidence is high. You feel good about what you've done from the previous 